Okay, today I just wanted to talk a little bit about Soulcast. So Soulcast is a um, really fantastic tool that allows you to predict um, solar yields. Um, obviously, they have a business model here. They make um, money by selling the solutions to various people like installers and um, various commercial sites that try to predict things, weather, and all the rest of it. Um, kindly enough, they also will offer hobbyists, that's people like us, um, a free access to their service to be able to predict your own system. Um, so you can actually create yourself an account here and you can use it. Um, it only provides some basic information, but it's really good half an hour prediction of, of your home system. Um, and it even gives you 10% and 90% scenarios. And you get up to 10 API calls a day for using that. Um, so recently, Soulcast were finding that lots of us on the Home Assistant were all polling it at the same time, and it was causing some issues with their service. So they kind of asked, they throttled the maximum number of calls in a period for the hobbyist account, which is fair enough, and asked people to randomise their the time that they're accessing it. They haven't withdrawn the service. They're letting people use it for free, which is still great. Unfortunately, that brought down all of people's access to it. And then the the guy who, um, Ozzy, who built the uh, Soulcast integration for Home Assistant got a whole load of flack because of it being down when it wasn't him that was down at all. It was the Soulcast throttling it uh, and decided to give up maintaining that integration, which is a shame. It's really good. Um, fortunately, somebody has taken the fork of that <coughs> and um, is going to continue it. So you can still use it here but please do be careful about your polling times to make sure they're a bit randomized don't just poll at midnight etc um and hopefully this will continue to be maintained <clears throat> if you've obviously installed it already then it'll keep working fine but you're not going to get any updates unless you shift over to this one um in parallel to that for PrevPat, what I've done is I've made it so that you can either speak to Soulcast directly or you can use the integration so if you're using the integration, nothing changes. It's just the sensors as before, and that should all work. Um, obviously, the new maintainers of the integration might change their names or something. I don't really know. Um, or if you want to talk directly, then you can now and that set the Soulcast host, um, which um, this is in the template now, so you can copy it. Copy your API key in based on um, from your account and set the number of hours between polling um, keep in mind you've only got 10 API calls a day for a hobbyist account um, and if you have this integration running as well they're both going to be sharing the same number of calls and in fact if you've got give energy then some people set it up on their cloud site as well so that will come off your calls so just be a bit careful with that I've set the default to eight hours which is only three a day but you can tune it and this will be every say eight hours from the time it first accessed it. So that should be fairly randomized anyway. Um, and it, it's obviously when PrevPat runs, it'll, uh, it'll download the, the latest data. In either method you're using the latest version of PrevPat, what you'll find is there's some new sensors for PV today and PV tomorrow, which come directly from what it's scraped from either the Soulcast integration or directly from the website. So this will tell you the daily forecast. If you expand it, you'll see the this is the total, and this is what's remaining for the rest of the day. This is the 10% prediction. I was like, if the weather turns out bad, what's remaining on that prediction? And then it's got the detailed forecast, which actually gives you the half hourly data um, from what was provided from Soulcast. Um, the numbers in the past are essentially what it thinks you should have produced, and the ones in the future are obviously predictions about what you will produce. Um, and that's going um, forward for the, um, for the rest of the day. And then if you look at PV tomorrow, it's the same thing, but for tomorrow, obviously there's not a, um, it's not a remaining because you, it's the whole of tomorrow is remaining, obviously. Um, and that's it, so you'll get that either way. Um, and so hopefully if there's problems with this integration or if you just don't want to use it, you can just set it directly. Um, instructions are here in the, uh, in the latest documentation. So feel free to give that a try. It's only just been released, so it might have bugs in it. And uh, see so how we get on and, and obviously report them um, there. Um, and uh, hopefully that's useful. And uh, 
do be respectful of the soul cast guys and how they provide their service for us for free thanks for watching bye now <laughs>